Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Alice, and I'm doing a video project on All That I've Learned by 28. Now we're beginning part two, which is everything I've learned about the world. The first section of part two is called systems thinking. Let's start by defining what a system is. A system is simply a collection of processes that interact. And system thinkers are those who can integrate knowledge across multiple disciplines. System thinkers understand complexity and nuance, and they're able to build mental maps, taking what is a relatively complex world out there with ecological systems, human systems, internal and external systems, and integrating all of those thoughts across multiple disciplines into one understanding of the world and humanity. There are three types of systems, internal systems, external systems, and ecological systems. Let's give a few examples of each of these three types of systems. Internal systems are the systems that are at work inside our bodies, effectively anatomical systems. Things like respiration, cell replication, digestion, the immune system, hormonal regulation, and neuroplasticity. External systems, on the other hand, are the systems that are at work among and between humans. Things like economics and global trade, electrical grids, academic admissions, capital allocation, elections, the internet. As you might imagine, there are thousands and thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands, of different types of human systems. The last types of systems are ecological or environmental systems. How the world operates, effectively, externalized from the human existence. Condensation, geological formation, electromagnetic energy, nuclear fusion, nuclear fission, gamma waves, evolution, are all examples of natural or ecological systems. And of course, human systems, whether they be inside our body or ex external systems between multiple humans or multiple groups of humans, interact in a substantial way with ecological and environmental systems. In the sections ahead, we'll be talking about, uh, talking about climate change and how humans and environmental systems